Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we will go now to the experiment number 3 which is Norgate because we are finally done with the experiment number 1 and number 2. A NOR gate can be called as universal gate because a combination of it can be used to accomplish all the basic functions. And by combining the NOT gate and OR gate, NOR gate can be constructed. The output of NOT gate is reversal of OR gate. The output will be at logic 0 when one or more input is at logic 1 and the output will become at logic 1 if all the input is at logic 0. So, let's start the experiment. So, before we proceed to the experiment number 3, here is the equipment and materials that we need to use. The 5 volts DC power supply, the 1P74 LSO2 quad 2 input NOR gate, Next one is 1P74 LSO4 hex inverter gate. And next one is 1P74 LS32 quad 2 input or gate. And 1P 5mm red lead. And next is 1P 1 half watts resistor 220 ohms and next one is two pieces SPDT switch and one piece breadboard the jumper wires and our alligator clip so let's start the experiment number three so for our figure a which is norgate circuit we will first use our ic that is 74 lso2 so we will put this first in our breadboard As you can see in the circuit, the number 1 of the IC is connected to the positive side of the LED. So we will put our LED here. And the negative side of the LED is connected to our resistor. Our resistor now is connected also to the negative side of our breadboard. And the number 7 of the IC is connected to the ground. Here is the number 7. So now we will connect the positive side of the LED to the number 1 of the IC. And the number 14 of the IC is connected to the positive side of the breadboard. Board. 
so we will now put our switch in the breadboard and the other one so in the circuit it shows that the number 2 of the IC is connected to the switch A number 2 of the IC this is our switch A and this is our switch B so now we will connect the number 2 of the IC to the center of the switch A. And the number 3 of the IC is connected to the center of the switch B. Here is our number 3. And we will now connect also the switch to the positive side of the breadboard. And after that, we will connect it also the other side to the negative. So let's connect it. Okay, the other one. So, let's check our circuit. As you can see, the number one is connected to the positive side of our LED and the negative side is connected to the resistor and our resistor is connected to the negative side of the breadboard. Um, the number 7 of the IC is connected to the ground the number 14 of the IC is connected to the positive side of the breadboard and number 2 is connected to the switch A to the, in the center and also the number 3 of the IC is connected to the switch B and both switch is connected to the positive and to the negative. So now let's connect our circuit to the power supply. So here the yellow alligator clip is connected to the positive side of the breadboard. And this black alligator clip is connected to the negative side. So we will turn on our power supply. So as you can see, this is the side of Logic Zero and our input now is Logic Zero and Logic Zero and the output here is Logic One. But when we turn on one of these switches, um, the LED will be turned off because its input um, 0 and 1 the output will be 0 and let's try to the other side we input 1 0 the output will be 0 and lastly, we try to 
input 1 and 1, the output will be 0 or our LED is turned off. So it's only turn on when our two input is at logic zero so we are now done in the figure a let's proceed now to the figure b which is not or gate circuit it is a combination of two ic which is not and or So here it is. We will replace this one nor IC with this not and or IC. As you can see in the circuit, we will first need to put the OR gate which is 74LS32. So here is our 1 and 2 and 14 of the IC. Let's adjust this one to the number 14. So here, you can see now that the number 1 of the IC is connected to the switch A. And number 2 of the IC is connected to the switch B. And number 14 is connected to the positive. So let's put now the seven four LS O four. In the circuit, it shows that the number three of IC or gate is connected to the number one IC not gate so let's connect that number three of the or gate here is connected to this IC number one Okay. And also the number 14 of this IC NOT gate is also connected to the positive. So let's connect. Okay. And the number 7 of this both IC is connected to the negative side of the breadboard which is our ground so here one two three four five six seven and also in this one the number seven here And okay, they are now connected. 
And in the number two of this IC, which is not gate, the LED and the resistor is connected. So we will put the resistor first, number two. And we will next to put the positive side of our LED here positive side we will connect it to the resistor and the negative side of our LED is connected also in the negative side of our breadboard okay so let's check this on our circuit so then both IC number 14 is connected to the positive and both number 7 of the IC is connected to the ground um, number 1 and number 2 of the OR gate IC is connected to our switch and number 3 of or gate is connected to the number one of the NAT gate and in the number two of this NAT gate the positive side of the LED and the resistor is connected and the negative side of the LED is connected to our ground so let's see what will happen if we connect this in our power supply the positive and in the negative and now we will turn on our power supply to see what will happen in this circuit so now they are connected to the power supply and our switch is is at logic one but switch is at logic one and when we try to um, make our input at logic zero you can see that our led is turned on or at logic one like what happened um, in the figure A, which is NOR gate, um, this one IC, they are similar in terms of their description that when both two inputs is at logic zero, the output is at logic one. So that's all. I hope you learned something new today about our experiment number 3, Norgate. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you!